All right, you guys, we're back with another episode of Art in Our Entertainment, and I'm going to be talking about uh, none other than the fantastic show, Game of Thrones. Um, you know, I know that last season put a bad taste in my mouth. You guys probably, you guys could have thought it was great, but, it, it, you know, the last season did not stick the landing. But at the same time, it's such a great story. You know what I'm saying? That the excitement for it is still there for me. Um, I know there's a lot of other people who with, you know, who who just have a bad taste in their mouth from that last season and they're just done with Game of Thrones. And, and it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? There's some people that are even so frustrated, even with the writer, that they don't want to read any more of his, of his books, which for me, you know, as a writer, um, you know, I, you know, to be honest, I came into the game late as far as Game of Thrones, period, you know. Uh, I'm only 33, so he's been writing those books since, like, the 90s, and I really got wind of uh, um, Game of Thrones, like, really late in the game. I mean, when um, when it first, when they were rolling out the show of Game of Thrones, I was watching other things, and I had other interests as far as, um, you know, high fiction and that was concerned but um i knew about it though i would always see it i would always see the trailer for game of thrones um you know when you walk through like uh you know when you walk through like a tv section in a big store and they're showing like all the latest hottest shows like i would always see like this dragon like flying across the ocean and there being chips and i'm like man that's that's that one show that's game of thrones and i just never knew what it was about really but it just looked intriguing and then um long story short i finally started to live with my wife uh this is when we were boy boy boyfriend and girlfriend and um i was like uh, I, I asked her i was like you know remember that show i was i was telling you i wanted to watch that uh what was it called game of thrones she was like yeah yeah i got it so, um, and this was, like, late in the game. They had, like, you know, they had, like, I want to say they had, like, three seasons by the time I actually, was like, is that a gray hair or is that, like, toothpaste in my beard? I don't know. Yeah, that's gray hair. Oh, well. Still beautiful. But, um, yeah, by the time I watched Game of Thrones, they had about three seasons. So, I had enough to watch uh, and keep me interested, and I was like, this is what the hell was, this, this is the Game of Thrones, I was like, Jesus, this show is incredible, um, but, yeah, man, they did not stick the landing in that last season, um, but I'm still excited, man, I'm still excited, I'm excited for the books, you know, what I mean, you know, this is what's so dope about Game of Thrones, uh, I read, I mean, I watched Game of Thrones first, and then I realized it was a book, you know what I'm saying, or maybe I was like, you know, they already they got the shows. I don't need to read the book. Wrong. I read the book and I was like, man, I wish I would have read the book first. This shit is way better than the show. <laughs> this shit is way better than the show. But, um, you know, I mean, that's just a testament to how great that show was at one point. I was reading, you know, after I was done with the series. Or I should say, once I was done with, like, season three um, and I had time, right? I was like, you know, they do got, I heard they do got books of these. Like, these are really great books, obviously. Obviously, because they made a show about it. So I jumped back and read the books, man. I read those first couple books so damn fast. And then about, you know, for me personally, four was like, eh. And then the last one was, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but I still, shit, it's, but I read four. Four, reading book four, what is that? I forgot which one that was. Uh, I was hoping I had it right on the the left side of me, but I don't, but I don't know. Quote me if I'm wrong. Was it Feast for Crows? I think that was the fourth, the fourth one. Man, that one was like a chore to read. It was a chore. So, uh, yeah, but, um, you know what? I actually, you know what I did get though? i tell you guys, I got the Game of Thrones illustrated version, right? So I got a couple of these books and it's so dope because, you know, the thing about these is that it actually shows you, it actually draw the illustration is well, of the bed. The illustration is about what they actually look like. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, you're not going to see Amelia Clark in here. You're not going to see, um, you know what I mean? Uh, whoever else they got, you're not going to see Kit Harrington in here. 
You know what I'm saying? You're going to see what they actually are supposed to look like. Um, for example, uh, Daenerys has um, purple hair. I mean, not per excuse me, not purple hair, but purple eyes. She has purple eyes. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Just just them sticking, like, really sticking to, you know, the, the real characterization of these characters. You know, what they're based on, you know? They got people like, oh, my God, that's 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 so unique. But what was I talking about? Oh, what was my point? My point was they're going to make a Jon Snow sequel. I mean, they're going to make a Jon Snow spinoff. And I think that's going to be pretty dope, man. I'm, I I would watch it. You know, I didn't like how the last season ended. Um, but was it the worst bit of television I watched? No. You know, it's it wasn't like... Um, it just was not a season that I thought should have ended the series. You know, I should say like this. That series didn't have to be that way, obviously. They could everything that they had going on, it could have it could have been just like that and been a great ending had they paced it better. If they paced it, if they paced it, like no, if they had better pacing in that that last bit of the show or that last season, it could have it could have been incredible. It could have been incredible, but it just seemed like they were just trying to beeline it. And so, anyways, John is the king beyond the wall. And that's what this, that's actually what this video was about before I went on my rant. Um, I think it's going to be a great show. I think it can be a great show, I should say. Um, I, I heard it was just an idea that was floating around by HBO. But, I mean, Kit Harrington is attached to the project if they do decide to go forward with it. So that's why I'm excited. Because, honestly, you know what I mean? You know, they got some great... They got some cool characters, you know what I'm saying? They got Maisie Williams. She played Arya Stark. Arya Stark, I loved Arya Stark. Um, the other girl, I don't know. I forgot what her name was. Uh, she played Arya Stark's sister, Jon Snow's sister also. Uh, who She played Sansa. But uh, honestly, I mean, you got Kit Harington, and you can do a, so a solo project with him in the Game of Thrones world. I mean... We can deal with not seeing anyone else if that's the role they decide to take. But if they decide to bring Maisie Williams and reprise her role as Arya Stark, come on. What, what are we not going to be for that? Come on. You know, didn't like how she killed the white. Didn't like how she killed the the Night King. But you know, that's neither here nor there. I thought. I thought. Um, you guys know, man. <laughs> you guys probably feel the same way I felt about that. Those who didn't like that scene. But um, yeah, man. I'm for it, man. I am for a Jon Snow spinoff. Make that happen. You know what I'm saying? They got HBO probably has like, I think um, this article that I was reading, it said they had like seven or eight pro projects in the works for, you know, Game of Thrones, the, just the universe. So, um, yeah, man, if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, I know there was, like I said, there was a lot of people grumbling about how that last season ended. I put myself in that group as well. But, uh, I'm not part of the group that's like, I'm never going to support anything or watch anything Game of Thrones. No, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm, I'm going to watch House of the Dragon. <laughs> I'm going to watch House of the Dragon. Uh, if they ever do that Dunkin' Egg, which that would be incredible. If they did Dunkin' Egg, that would be awesome. I think that is definitely a show. Um, I mean, a story made for a show. Like, no, it has everything. It has the kid element, you know, a kid growing up to be a king and you know, learning how life works, and then you have a knight who's, you know, he's trying to be, like, chivalrous, but he's still in this world of being a knight, and, you know, he, he has to deal with danger and adventure, so I think that's, that's built for a show, you know what I mean, that definitely, um, you know, come on, man, it's all there, man, it, it's all there, the, the fans who, who really love this stuff will stick around, um, you know, every show, I mean, every season's not gonna be a home run, um, I just, you know, honestly, I thought the pacing should have been better with that last season. But anyways, uh, yeah, man, that's uh, that's this episode. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>